Coach PJ here. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Have you considered starting a business? Well, if you're in that line of work and you're looking for your passion, looking to see what you can build, um, I'd love to take a look at other people and what they've built and why they've built it. And hopefully you can gain some learnings from that. Um, what I want to show you is the most unusual lady who has built an unusual business. Let's take a look. The lengths people will go and the amount that they'll spend on their chickens is astounding. Most people want to emulate the style of their home and their coop. And so we have like really beautiful farmhouse designs. For example, our Chateau Coop is very popular. My name is Kathy Bay Hughes and I am the founder and head hen of Cutest Coops. So I'm gonna stop there for a minute. Uh, not what you expected, probably. Uh, she is uh, doing coops, uh, hen coops. And let's see why she got into this business, what it was about it, and how she's built it. Kathy is a first-generation American whose parents left Budapest, Hungary for the U.S. to pursue the American dream. You know, I'm a 44-year-old woman, and to this day, when I see my dad, you know, I get choked up because I know what he's been through. He had a toothbrush, a change of underwear, and a ping-pong paddle and two ping-pong balls. And with that tiny little bag of tricks, he turned into the national champion of ping pong in the U.S. Kathy's father took his title to the next level and opened a table tennis club. He then opened a pool hall and later a retail store, which expanded to five locations. Kathy harnessed her father's entrepreneurial spirit and was the first member of her family to attend college and to go on to earn an MBA, which she put to use helping run her family business. Kathy helped run it for 19 years. But the stress of the job was taxing. And so she found a way to de-stress, raising chickens. And so it kind of dawned on me that here I am going through a really stressful time and my chickens feel like they're saving my life. Like it's my happy place. I don't know if they call me the crazy chicken lady behind my back or whatever, but fine, I'll take the title. So let's stop there for a minute. A couple of things. One is she has some role models, her father, uh, from an entrepreneur perspective. Uh, she has seen him follow his passion and build something great. So that is very indicative and uh, is a mirror of what she's going to be doing is following her passion. Uh, she sees places where she is, she called it her happy place, which is just a great term for what makes you happy, what gives you fulfillment and following that as an entrepreneur, you know, it's, it's the old adage is if you follow your passion and you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. Let's see what she continues to do with this. The more time Kathy spent with her chickens, the more time she noticed their personalities and quirks. As we got our first flock and I started to realize, oh my goodness, there are family members. They are all have names. They all have personalities. And so, you know, I saw coops on the market, including the first one we got, and it was just not, it, it was not a good place for any kind of pet to live. It was too small. It was uh, very difficult to clean. It was cumbersome. It doesn't emulate how we feel about them and the type of life we would like to give all of our pets. Kathy couldn't find any coop that would give her chickens protection from predators and that was up to her standards. So she decided to build her own. But now she has an even bigger coop, which she designed. <laughs> It is like the Taj Mahal of chicken coops. It is super nice. And there's like a wine fridge in there and a counter with a potting shed kind of area. It's decked out. <laughs> what was amazing is like when our friends and family would come visit, we would all hang out down there. It was tall enough to walk into, uh, clean out the coop door. So easy cleaning, it had great ventilation and it was really pretty. All of these things that I thought were only for me checked the box of all kinds of chicken owners across the board. And I knew I was onto something. It kept. So let's stop there. She really looked at it as these are her pets. And, you know, like a dog or a cat, someone who lives in your home, they live in a really nice situation. 
Um, so why do these chickens live in kind of sub optimal conditions? So she really looked at it as their pets. She gave them names, made a connection to them. And then it was a natural extension for her to build them a nice environment, want to have an environment where she wanted to spend time with them and look at expanding it. But she also has that practical element. How do I clean it? How do I keep it, um, you know, a, a good environment without a lot of maintenance? So kind of interesting in that respect. Uh, let's see what she continues to do. It's like hitting me in the face like, hey, Kathy, you're a product person. You know how to do this and no one's doing it. Why wouldn't you do it? Kathy knew it was time to put everything she learned during her 19 years running her family business into a venture she was truly passionate about, boutique chicken coops. And so like all of those lessons led me to Cutest Coops. In November 2018, Kathy started to toy with the idea of turning the chicken keeper lifestyle into a business. Then Kathy built her first coop prototype. And in January 2019, she brought it to a home show in Columbus, Ohio, just to see people's reactions. And the feedback was so positive. Isn't this so cute? I just love it. <laughs> About a half a year later, Kathy officially launched Cutest Coops with just $3,800. Cutest Coops, Cleveland, Ohio, the garden show. The company has no debt, no investors. Everything that I create, I put right back in because this is like my passion project. And I'm super proud of the fact that I've bootstrapped this thing. Bye. So one quick thing that she did that was very interesting is she got feedback from the marketplace, built a prototype and put it in the marketplace and got feedback. She didn't go getting investors. She didn't go building a website. She didn't go doing all this other activity. She took a prototype and marketed it and listened to the feedback. So huge, huge lesson for all entrepreneurs and all startups. By March of 2020, I had a decent enough amount of sales and then the pandemic hit and the things just went crazy in terms of traffic. Cutest Coops was founded in 2019 and brought in $68,000 in sales that first year. The following year, sales increased 10 times and the company raked in $700,000. And this year in 2021, we will be just shy of 2 million. And I can tell you that we are just getting started. Kathy puts most of her earnings back into savings, but the more she makes, the more she's able to pay herself. And the reason I do that very honestly is I kind of like to see my bank account just keep growing because then when I have the next big idea, I can just do it. Kathy knows what it takes to raise chickens and hopes that her coops make it easy and fun for others to do the same. Cutest Coops was built for busy chicken owners by busy chicken owners. Like I did not have the time to fool around. Even cleaning out one of our coops literally takes two minutes and you're done. Prices range from $2,899 to beyond $34,000 for a custom coop. If someone's trying to make something look a little farmy, they might want to go with the country coop, which is really cute. One of my personal favorites and a newer one is the chapel coop. It's adorable. It's like a little chicken church. There are even variations of coops for people living in big cities. It's called the cube. And the cube coop is like literally made for like New York City, San Francisco, you know, Austin, Texas, like in the heart of the city, because we all need chickens, not just people with like big rural properties. In 2022, Kathy plans to do a lot more custom coops and to branch out into the home and garden space. Most people who have chickens also have certain other interests like gardens. So I have a feeling that in the near future, we'll have an element of, you know, garden sheds, maybe. Kathy said. So I had to touch on a couple of things. She sees herself as a, a serial entrepreneur. This is not the only business she wants to get into. She also understands how to read her marketplace. Those who have chickens do other things. Um, in addition, she recognizes that her customer has different personalities based on where they live and different needs based on the amount of space they have whether it's rural, whether it's in the city, and she adjusts her product accordingly. Um, I mean, she has a low-end budget coop, 
but she also has, I think she's up to $34,000. That's a, you know, in some places you can buy a house for that much. Um, but it's crazy that this is all about the chickens and the coops and, and that element. Uh, but she is looking at the next opportunity and how to, how to make that happen as well. So let's take a look. Says her passion for cutest coops comes from the way it touches her customers. I had one lady during the pandemic tell me that both of her parents <laughs> passed away like within months of each other. And she was crying on the phone to me and said, you know, Kathy, thank you so much for giving me something to look forward to. Right? These are the moments that are like completely priceless. Everything we do. So in conclusion, follow your passion. If you follow your passion, you will enjoy what you do. You will naturally gravitate towards it. You will look for opportunities to build it. Uh, it's a great way to start a business. Um, if you like this video and there's other things you'd like me to react to, let me know. This is PJ Wyland. Until next time, your business profit.